let's talk about seven ways to improve your bone health. Now your peak bone density occurs in your late twenties. Personally, I'm right at this point where I have the peak bone density. Unfortunately, it's all downhill from here. But as you start getting older, you start losing the density of your bone and your bones become softer and softer and softer, especially for women after menopause, because they get this huge drop in estrogen. And if you're going through menopause and you have a problem with the precursor for osteoporosis, which is osteopenia, I would recommend taking something called DHEA to help increase the precursor for these various hormones, including estrogen. And I would really only take uh, between 10 to 15 milligrams, not too much, because it can also increase testosterone. And we don't want to do that. We just want to make the uh, precursor for estrogen there uh, in case your body needs it to make a little bit more. All right. So the first thing to improve your bones is to start taking vitamin D3. I would recommend taking 10,000 IUs every single day. Now, if you have a major situation with osteoporosis, I would take more. I'd probably take 20 to 30,000 IUs of vitamin D3. And then number two, with that vitamin D3, you're also going to need K2. K2 is very, very important in bone. K2 works with vitamin D3. So vitamin D3 increases the absorption of calcium in the blood but K2 takes that calcium and derives it right into the bone. If there's not enough vitamin K2, then calcium can tend to settle in the arteries as well in the joints. Now, as far as the amount of K2, I would use that as the ratio with D3. So if D3 is 10,000 I use, I would take a hundred micrograms of K2. And the type of K2 I would take is the MK7 version, not the MK4 the MK7. So if you're going to take 20,000 IUs of D3, you would take 200 micrograms of K2. Make sense? Okay. Number three, I would take some organic grass-fed dairy, probably some cheese to get your calcium. That's one of the best sources of calcium. All right. Number four, um, increase your vegetables to get vitamin C. Vitamin C has everything to do with collagen and there's collagen in bone there's collagen in connective tissue that surrounds bone. There's collagen in your joints. And so bone is not just about minerals. It's about protein and vitamin C and other minerals in the vegetables will help your bone. Also the dark leafy greens are loaded with calcium. All right. Number five, weight bearing exercise is vitally important. You're going to add stress to the bone and your bone's going to actually adapt and get stronger from that stress. All right, next one is trace minerals. Very, very important, especially copper, manganese, zinc, all are needed for enzymes and certain proteins that help build bone. And number seven, one of the trace minerals, boron, is really needed to just to make the bone stronger. So you might want to take that as an extra thing. All right, there you have it, the seven ways to improve bone health. So if you're enjoying my content, which I hope you are, and you're applying this knowledge to your health, and you have a success, I'd really appreciate you sharing your success story. So click the link down below to my website where you can upload your success story so you can help inspire others.